What are addition and subtraction? Addition means putting objects together. Let's say you have five lemons and you get three more. You can use addition to figure out how many lemons you have now. Five plus three equals eight. When you add, you'll often see words like all together, combined, or total. Subtraction is the opposite of addition. When you subtract, you take objects away. Let's say you have eight lemons this time and you eat three of them. You can use subtraction to figure out how many lemons you have left. Eight minus three equals five. When you subtract, you'll see words like take away, left, how many more, how many less. We can use base 10 blocks to model addition and subtraction of larger numbers, like the problem 125 plus 212. That's a lot of lemons. So yet let's use the blocks instead. I'm gonna set up a place to keep track of all my hundreds blocks, tens blocks, and ones blocks. Keeping the hundreds together and the tens together and the ones together is going to make it easier to see my answer. When I add using the base 10 blocks, I'm gonna start by making my first number, which is 125. 125 has five ones, so I'll put five ones blocks. It has two tens and one group of 100. That's the number 125. Now I'm going to add my second number, 212. I need to add two more ones, one more 10, and two more hundreds. Now what I have is my answer. I started with 125, I added 212 more, and now I have seven ones, three tens, and three hundreds. That's the answer, 300. 37. Let's try a trickier one. This time I'm adding 238 plus 135. Once again, I'm going to set up a place to keep track of all my hundreds, my tens, and my ones. I'm going to start by making the first number 238. That's eight ones, 30, that's three tens, and 200. 238. Now I'm going to add the second number, 135. 135 has five ones, so I need to add five more ones. It has three tens and it has another hundred. Whatever's left is my answer. So I see hundreds, tens, and ones here. I know I'm gonna have an answer that has hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's see, I have 13 ones, six tens, and three hundreds. Hmm, that answer doesn't look quite right. I know I can't put a 13 in the ones place. Each of these places can only hold one digit, so that must not be right. I have too many ones, 13 ones, that's too many to put in one place. I need to move some of these ones over to be with the tens. Remember that a group of 10 ones is really another 10. Let's move it over to be with the tens. It's in the wrong place. Now let's try writing our answer. This time I see only three ones, but now I have seven tens and three hundredths. So 238, plus 135 is 373. This is called regrouping, and it's exactly what we do when we use the addition algorithm. Watch how it works using this strategy. Let's add the ones, eight plus five is 13. But just like before, I can't put a 13 in the ones place. I put down the three ones, and I carry or regroup 10 of them over into the tens place and add a group of 10. Now I have seven tens and three hundreds. More on this strategy in the next lesson. Now let's try subtracting with the base 10 blocks. 
Let's try 244 minus 113. Once again, I'm going to set up a place for my hundreds, a place for my tens, and a place for my ones. I'm going to start, just like I did before, by making the biggest number, the first number, 244. So I have four ones in the number 244. I also have four tens, and I have two hundreds. There's 244. But when I subtract, instead of adding blocks, I'm taking away blocks. So I need to take away 113. That means I'll need to get rid of three ones because 113 has a three in the ones place. I need to get rid of a 10 and I need to get rid of a hundred. Whatever's left is my answer. I see one group of a hundred three tens, and one one. That makes 131. But let's look at a subtraction problem with regrouping. This time, we're subtracting 415 minus 323. Just like in the last problem, I'm going to start by making the first number 415. That's five ones, a 10, and four hundreds. There it is, 415. And just like before, I'm going to take away the second number. This time, I'm taking away 323. 323 has a three in the ones place. So let's start by taking away three ones. Okay, that was easy enough. Now let's take away the two tens. 323 has two tens, so I need to take away two tens. Hmm, do you spot the problem? I only have one 10. How can I take away two 10s if I only have one 10? Well, I have a lot more 10s. They're just grouped together over here as hundreds. I need to take one of these groups of 100 and break it apart into 10s. Remember that 100 is 10 10s. So I can turn one of these hundreds blocks into 10 more tens blocks. All right, now let's try taking away our two tens. I definitely have enough this time. And then I still need to subtract three hundreds because the number 323 has a three in the hundreds place. All right, whatever's left is my answer. I don't have any hundreds left, but I do have nine tens and two ones. So my answer is 92. This is called regrouping, or sometimes we call it borrowing. And it's exactly what we do when we use the subtraction algorithm. So let's look at subtracting using this strategy. We start with the ones, and that was easy. Remember, five minus three is two. We didn't have a problem there. The problem came when we got to the tens. We couldn't take two tens away because we only had one 10. So remember what we did? We took away a group of 100, leaving 300s, and we broke it apart into 10 10s, and we added those 10 10s to the other 10 to make 11 10s. Then we could subtract. And when we did that, we were left with nine 10s and no 100s. So there's the answer again, 92.